Hey guys, I decided to spend my little short lunch break with you today. It's still beautiful out, a little chillier, so I have my jacket on today, but just wanted to chat a little bit about the webinar I listened to this morning. Actually, it wasn't a webinar, it was just a phone call. And it's really easy to listen to these things while you're working, so I recommend it. Get your mind going unless you need to have really focused work but anyway I listened to something this morning and it was a photo first of all based off of a photo that this person posted prior to the phone call I said what do you what do you think that today's phone call is going to be about and it was this really muddy of uh, these tire tracks in deep mud and the tire tracks were so deep it had like water standing in it and he just asked well what do you think it's going to be about and there were a bunch of ideas and they were all actually could all be offshoots on something to speak about but um it just resonated with me so i thought i'd share it he was talking about being in a rut i grew up just on a gravel road and right beyond our driveway was a dirt road. They call it level B maintenance. Enter at your own risk. That was posted <laughs> on the sign. So if people go in there and get stuck, kind of out of luck. It said enter at your own risk. And people would drive in there anyway. It would typically be really late at night when it had rained a lot and people would come trudging up to the door. <laughs> Hello, there's an airplane going over by its overhead. It's kind of loud. So I'll just wait a second. Just enjoy the flowers. The flowers are just about dying behind me, but some look really nice still. And I have to say the other day, this is, I'm at the park again that I was at the other day for lunch. And I was sitting at a purple picnic table that day. This is pink. It is the color of Pepto-Bismol. So I'd share that. It's kind of funny. Anyway. Oh, I was talking about people would come up super late at night, trudging up to the door. And again, we didn't really have any close neighbors. The neighbors were the cornfields. And <laughs> they would typically be muddy because they went into this level B maintenance road created ruts and they got stuck like really stuck so my dad would go out or they might have to call somebody some in some of the instances and get them unstuck out of the ruts so I am familiar with this have I gotten stuck before yes I've gotten stuck in mud and I've gotten stuck in snow and you get in that rut and you have to, you literally have to get out of the rut and then you have to kind of floor it or move the car around <laughs> you have to maneuver it can be interesting it's kind of exciting though it kind of gives you a little adrenaline rush when you're when you do that and you're kind of going all over the place and you get out of the rut and then you can get on your way you can either drive on top of the rut or you can completely get off that road so that's kind of what they were talking about today when you're going along and you're not experiencing anything new, that is a rut. If you become complacent and you think, well, you know, I don't need to learn. I, I can't learn anything from anybody. And by the way, hello, Marissa. Hello, Carolyn. Lovely ladies. So being complacent gets you in that rut. It can be pretty comfortable. I've read about a sign that's in Alaska and it says, choose your rut carefully. You will be in it for the next 200 miles. And it's kind of funny, but it has a, a ring of truth to it. Choose your rut carefully. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to be in a rut to begin with, but it's an interesting concept. So it's that complacency and thinking that, you know, I, I really can't learn from anybody. And whatever I do, I have to do myself. That's my ego talking. 
and I want to rely on what's out there, my resources. I'm a big resource person. I know I do not have to know it all, but I want to know where to find those resources and I want to use them so I don't slip into complacency. <coughs> Just think of where you would be if you never change. Well, first of all, you'd be a baby because babies change constantly and that's how we started out. Think of all the changes you went through. I think of the person I was six years ago, seven, eight years ago, and the person I was in college, even beginning and ending college, I was a different person. Think of the person that you were in high school. If you are still that person, wow. I would say you're in a huge rut and you need to move on. You need to grow. Um, I'm going to mention something and this might strike a chord personally with some people I know, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, one of the last years I went to a class reunion was my 10 year class reunion. And since then, I think I've had a 20 year. <laughs> I don't remember. Have I been out 20 years? Yes. So there you go. I went to my 10 year class reunion and a lot of people were there actually. And I was impressed by some people and I was disappointed by some people. Sometimes when we get around a group of people where we had certain habits and certain ways that we acted, we just slide back into that. And I saw some of that and it was disappointing to me that 20 years later, that behavior was the same. And some other people, it was really exciting to see because they were genuine people. They were people that I wanted to talk to and really actually know how they were doing. Not just play the high school games and play the high school roles. That is a rut. When people tell me, and I've had this happen, when people tell me that high school was their the best time of their life, literally the time that they would go back to if they could, I actually think that's really sad because that is such a time of like you're just just figuring out who you are I don't know anybody who absolutely knew who they really were and hasn't changed from that since high school and has been a successful person I don't even know if that's possible I don't want to be that and I know it just boggles my mind a little bit. Anyway, a little introspection. <laughs> so think of where you'd be if you don't ever change. You don't ever grow. You stay in one place, in your job, in your relationships, in your spirituality. I don't think that's a good place to be. Um my own beliefs I believe God does have a plan for us but he wants us to succeed and provides opportunities for us to do that whether we want to take them and acknowledge them or not so whatever your beliefs are look around and see your opportunities and acknowledge that just looking at my notes a little bit that oh I liked this one after the initial phone call this morning, um, Brian Finale got on and I loved this part. Actually, a whole bunch of it just really resonated with me. And this is what he said. What do you expect in this life? What is possible? What is possible? Think about that. What do you tolerate? And I will be the first person to say I tolerate way too much in certain situations. Way too much. I'm getting better about that. More outspoken. If you know me, you will know that. <laughs> but I am by no means a perfect person. So think about what controls you. It's you. You stop complaining. 
and you experience life. You think about how you're going to go through life and what changes you want to make. Because it's up to you. If you don't want to change, that's up to you too. This part I really liked. Um, his He was really pointedly talking about being grateful. And this is one thing I think you should think about. At least three grateful things. Things you're grateful of when you wake up in the morning. Be grateful what you, for what you have. And he repeated this over and over and over. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. What in the world do you have to complain about? Everybody has problems. And I guarantee you, there's somebody worse off than you. That you can probably help, actually. But stop complaining. Because really, the only person you have... For accountability is you. So I was like, hmm, that's so true. So just show up as yourself because you're beautiful and nobody has the exact same message you have. You're an individual. There are other people out there with similar thoughts and ideas and interests as you, but you are the only one with your message. So if you want to show up as a leader, you will. You'll make the changes necessary to do that. But you have to change your old mindset to do that. And that's one thing I didn't see from some people when we had that reunion. It was no change in mindset. It was immaturity. And it was one reason I didn't go to our last reunion. <laughs> Oh, enough about that. That's getting too personal, I know. But surrounding yourself with the people that you want to be surrounded with, that you have the same mindset, you're positive, and you want to give back and serve to others is important. Keep your gratefulness in your core. That should be part of your vision in life, really. Um... And it is not keeping your mind stuck in those old ruts. It's kind of hard to get out of sometimes. If the ruts are super deep, and some of them are, it's really hard to get out of them. And think about, <laughs> to go way back, like when the West was just being settled, they had covered wagons and the wheels were pretty narrow. And so they created deeper ruts and they would get stuck in that and the wheels would break. Are your old habits breaking down where you're supposed to be headed? Is that breaking you? Hey Dan, how are you? So just think about that. I'll put a picture of the ruts that he had posted before this little chat, but I just thought it was interesting and it's, good to think about all the things you can do to get out of your rut and grow and become the person that you were meant to be and I believe because of my own beliefs I believe that God is constantly trying to bless me and this was a, a great quote from this morning that both of them touched on and I'm going to make into an affirmation I think God is in the business of exceeding my expectations we might have a plan. We might not even realize what we're working toward exactly. And it might be something beyond our wildest dreams. And that's what I want to go for. I think that's amazing. So get out of your rut. Shake it up a little bit. You might have to do that to get out of that rut. You might have to mourn the loss of moving on from whatever it is that's holding you back. And then embrace the new path you're taking. I think that's so awesome to think about the new path you're going to take and where you're going to come out. It's not about the end goal though. It's really about the journey and who you can help along the way. So be inspired. Get out of your rut. This was Chandra. Hope you enjoyed the video. You can like and share and comment if you would like. And I'm going to be popping it up on my YouTube channel, Chandra Rankin.
or go to ChandraRankin.com and I have a link to my YouTube page. I appreciate everyone that is watching and will be watching later the recorded version. So everybody have a great day and an awesome weekend. I think I'm going to be probably on tomorrow morning and Sunday morning because I have two more points to my series I've been talking about. So I'm going to finish those this weekend even though I don't normally record. But maybe I'll find some fun spots to record. Everybody have a great weekend. Love you all. Bye.